A fire that destroyed a honeybee farm just south of Plaza Saturday is still smoldering. Chris Stinchcomb shares the farmer's plans for moving forward. It, it just kind of took off so quickly by the time, you know, we could get into the warehouse and even do anything about it, you know, it was, you know, it was, it was out of control for us, you know, and the winds coming in was pr pretty devastating. You know. Blake is now a part of his father's honeybee business. Brian Bewey started collecting bees when he was just 15 years old. 40 years later, everything he had built was gone in a matter of minutes. You know, just got bigger and bigger, and then it, 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 the wind and, the, and the, all this wood, the bees are wood and, 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 and wax, and it just went up like a Roman candle. Brian had just landed in Minot when the fire started. His son, Blake, was there. He helped his dad build everything. I was tearing up the whole time when this thing was going down because there was, I literally, literally nothing I could do. About $1 million in honey was lost, and there's about $4 million in structural damage. He didn't have a lot of insurance, so he won't get enough money to rebuild everything right away. This is 90% of his income, and it's too late to start rebuilding this year. July 25th, I need this thing up and running. So if I had the building up in April, and you know, I start May, June, and July, I have to set all the equipment up. Uh, and then hopefully I can, you know, maybe not be as elaborate of a plant, but enough of a plant to get my honey extract the next year and keep going. Brian is thankful his bees weren't killed during the fire. I wish it would have burnt the house down and saved my warehouse. You know, I could live, I could live in a tent, but I need my warehouse. <laughs> Caressa Stinchcomb, KX News. And there is a GoFundMe set up. You can head to our website, kxnet.com, for a link to it. Did you know it's actually safer to send your kids?